Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have another video on Adobe Acrobat Pro using pre-flight to add crop marks and page borders to an existing PDF. So I have a file here that I created, a simple little flyer, and I created it with a slug area, but I cannot remember if I added a bleed or if this is eight and a half, eleven. If I go up to my properties, the page size is 10 and a half by 13, but the 10 and a half by 13 will also include this slug area on the outside. So I can't really determine whether or not I added bleed just by looking at it that way. So in Adobe Acrobat's pre-flight function, which I'll open up here, there is a function called, if I can spell it right, Ge uh, ge uh, geometry boxes. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, th there's a couple different ones here. There's auto correct if you don't have the geometry boxes set, like trim box, page, or art box, for example. Uh, in this case, what I want to do is I actually want to draw out a box that'll show me exactly what the boxes are, and that way I can tell whether or not the file has bleed. So if I click on edit just to examine exactly what's going on here. You can see this geometry box is set to either, you know, bleed, trim, art, or crop. I have three functions here. I have one for bleed, one for trim, and one for art. Sorry, scroll back up, art box. I can also do one for crop, bar, crop box if I wanted to um, by just adding the little plus sign in uh, doing another one here or if you want to just do let's just say just a bleed box or just a trim box you can also delete these other ones from the um, the pre-flight I also have the color space here set to CMYK these values are essentially cyan magenta yellow and black so in this case I'm going to create a page border around the bleed box that is 0.25 points in 100% magenta and I'm going to create it as a spot color, which I'm going to call a bleed box. I want the tint color to be 100%. I'm also going to create it on a layer, which is going to be called bleed box. I'm going to leave this unchecked because I don't want it to fill 100% with color. I just want the border only. And then I'm going to leave the offset as zero for all of these because I want it to show me the true dimension of the actual bleed box. I don't want to kick it to the left or the right, top or bottom. I don't want to move it around basically. And then unit, you can also change it from point to millimeter to inch. In this case, I want it on point just because um, of the, the line width there. So you can change these independently from each other. Uh, you can have them all the same if you want. In this case, for instance, the trim box, I have this set to 100% cyan. And then the art box, I have it 100% cyan and 100% magenta so it'll create a little different color for each one so once I hit OK and I hit fix we're gonna save it as a new file here just call it underscore 2 hit save and it'll run the pre-flight as you can see here it's given me some nice little borders here so right off the bat I can tell yes I indeed added a uh, bleed on this because here is my um, my trim box, here is my bleed box, and up here would be the art box that includes the area where the slug is. If I open up my um, output preview, you can also see that it's not only named each one of these elements uh, as I intended, but it's also put a, a color and it's put it on, on its, its own spot color channel. So if I click these off and on, you can see and also here under the layers it's created a new layer for each one of these so if I uncheck the bleed box that'll disappear trim box and art box so each one of those elements have now been placed on its own layer I can also set these for instance if uh, I don't want to go back and do anything else with this PDF I just want to send it directly to the printer I can also uh, either uncheck these so that they don't print or if I want to leave them on there so I can visually see what 
where those elements are I can also right click here and hit properties and then change the print value to never prints and so when I hit OK and I go up to print you can see the um, trim box is now gone the bleed box is still there the art box is still there but the um, trim box is gone so just a little tip in case you um, want to show those items but then you don't want to print them that's one way to get around it so now let's also say I forgot to add I wanted to add crop marks and I forgot to do that when I output the PDF so if I go back into my profiles here I'm gonna go ahead and type in marks and you'll see right here under pages there's one that says add crop and bleed marks if I hit edit these are the settings so I have basically everything checked here I want to add a crop mark a bleed mark um, and I also want to put I'm gonna put the Japanese marks which are kinda of like registration marks um, so these are the individual settings for the bleed mark or for all these these marks as far as like the weight of the actual uh, crop marks the length the offset in this case I offset it an eighth of an inch so it's not on top of the uh, uh, printing the length is just a quarter inch you can make it longer if you want or shorter whatever you want and then I also are going to put this on its own its own layer uh, in the PDF and I'm going to call that crop marks um, I'm also going to apply this to all pages if I don't know if you've noticed but my PDF was 10 pages long so I'm going to hit OK I'm going to hit fix and I'll save this as underscore 3 hit save and it'll run the pre-flight and as you can see here now it is at it has added the uh, crop marks including these ones here the Japanese marks are you know essentially registration marks it's also put them on its own layer which I can turn off and on I can also select it to print or not print just like I did in the previous step and then uh, these ones are set so that the crop marks are going to show on all of the different um, uh, colors so if I check these off or on, doesn't really matter. The crop marks are always there. So that's how to do that. Hopefully this helps somebody out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. As always, please like, subscribe, share, uh, the usual YouTube stuff. So I appreciate everybody watching these videos. And uh, hopefully this, this will help someone out in the future. And I'll see you and catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.